So Keir, you've said cuts to youth services have fueled the rise in crime. What would you do to change that? Um, put some of that funding back in, make sure that young people have um, the support they need. Uh, we have said there needs to be a recovery plan for children who've lost out during schooling. There needs to be a job offer for every under 25 who's been out of work for six months um, or more. So you've got to put the support back in because um, antisocial behaviour is on the rise. Um, I think I'm right in saying the West Midlands has got the highest number of young people um, anywhere in Europe. Um, and so you've got to put the support in and without it um, you will never tackle antisocial behaviour in the way that it needs to be tackled. West Midlands Police was the only police force area in the recent statistics to see a rise in overall crime, with violent crime in particular uh, going up quite steeply. You've met with senior officers uh, here this morning and constables. What are they telling you, what support that they need to, to help them combat this issue? Well, um, they recognise that as we're coming out of restrictions that crime levels are going up and they're working with partners to try to contain that, particularly on Friday and Saturday nights by putting teams out um, to deal with that. Um, they don't say it expressly, but they're stretched. They don't have the officers that they did have because so many officers have been taken out uh, over the course of the last 10 years, and that's a drain on their resources. So they're doing the best they can with the resources they've got, working with partners here in Wolverhampton, and some of what they've been doing, I looked at the homelessness, um, work that they've been doing is, is really impressive and showing results um, but they're constrained by um, the position the government's put them in. You've accused the government of being soft on crime, Labour certainly hasn't got a reputation for being tough on crime, is that something that you're trying to change under your watch? Well look, I was Director of Public Prosecutions for five years in charge of the Crown Prosecution Service uh, for England and Wales, um, including here in Wolverhampton um, and in the West Midlands. So. Um, I don't think anybody could accuse me of being soft on crime. I spent five years prosecuting every sort of crime everywhere across England um, and Wales. Um, and we are the party that is setting out what is needed uh, in terms of the support for our police, for our youth services, and putting a proposed legislation um, on, the, uh, on the table for victims and for violence against women and girls. So we're strong on uh, crime and strong on the causes of crime and the old phrase tough on crime tough on the causes of crime is a phrase that uh, I'll be using over and over again. But still in the kill the bill protest that we saw recently dozens of your MPs are backing the protesters and criticising the police. It, it, it seems to be a mixed message. No it's not a mixed message. Um, we've been very clear in supporting uh, the police in the difficult work uh, that they do and um, uh, they have my absolute support in the work that they're doing. The, the criminal justice system is really being strangled at the moment by a huge court backlog. Is the government doing enough to address this? I know we've seen the, uh, the Nightingale Court opening. What action would you like to see taken to get this sorted out? This has been a long-standing problem, made worse by COVID, but the cases were too slow um, to start with. There's yeah. no priority, so on um, sexual offences, um, there's no priority for cases. Terrible figures when it comes to the prosecution of um, rape cases, with 98% um, of cases that are reported to the police not ending up even in a charge and therefore even going to court. So, um, you know, the Conservative Party can no longer be called the party of law and order. And just changing it slightly, four groups have recently been expelled, including some that have been critical of your efforts to tackle anti Semitism. You've said Labour needed to change since you uh, became leader. Is this you stamping your authority on the party? On the, the first thing I said as Labour leader, the first thing I said as Labour leader uh, was that I would root out anti-Semitism um, uh, in our party and I'm absolutely determined uh, to do that. And where individuals or groups um, are uh, acting inconsistently with that objective, then obviously we've got to take action in relation to them. But I do not want the... the Labour Party and anti-Semitism to be in the same sentence anymore. I don't want a Labour Party member or supporter knocking on a door at the next general election and being told that um, the individual won't vote Labour because of anti-Semitism. And I want um, our Jewish colleagues to feel that the Labour Party is a safe place for them. And the test I've set myself is whether they have confidence uh, in the Labour Party under my leadership to return to it and to, and to vote for a Labour Party that is free of anti-Semitism.